Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 26063. This build was not released for the dev channel, but only for the Canary channel. And of course, it is for Windows 11 version 24H2. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and what you can expect from this latest build from the Windows Insider program. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this. One. So let's begin with a video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is announcing the Wi Fi 7 support for consumer access points in the current Insider preview build. And some of the new features are multi link operation, ultra wide bandwidth that doubles the speed to your devices, and also a new modulation that increases the data transmission by 20%. So, more info about this can be found in the official article from the Microsoft website if you're interested in that. In this build, we also have a few changes and improvements related to Windows Copilot. So, you can now ask Copilot and Windows to do 16 new actions add in to the 13 already live and you can also automate tasks using power automate desktop and this is beginning to roll out to insiders in the canary channel and also as discovered by phantom motion 3 you're going to notice that the new options when you hover over with a text or image copied in your clipboard have been updated they now have icons and also a label that states that this is still in preview so i think that is pretty interesting also the ui or the speak for me section in accessibility has been changed and also we're going to be able to choose a natural voice if you don't want to choose your own voice this was also discovered by phantom motion 3 so i think this is pretty interesting of course you can turn it on and speak for me will be open and you can select natural voice or your personal voice and with this you can create your own voice avatar or preserve your own voice to communicate with others whether in online meetings or in-person conversations there are also a few app updates that you can notice for example in the paint app you're going to have some new sliders and also additional layers that will help you customize the background i don't have the new features yet in this build but of course these are some minor changes in the paint app and also for arm 64 devices in every windows insider channels the photos app has also been updated with some new improvements for example generative erase basically we're going to be able to delete things from a photo using ai and i think that is a pretty cool feature let's now talk about a few fixes in this build for example Microsoft fixed an issue causing some insiders to experience an issue where the network icon in the system tray showed they didn't have an internet connection when connected to some vpns even though the internet connection was working those impacted may have also seen some some apps think there wasn't an internet connection when there was one. Also, they fixed the last build to 6058 not being listed in update history and settings. Also fixed a high hitting DWM crash in the last couple of flights. Fixed an underlying issue with plug and play which may have impacted audio device setup in the last two builds. Fixed an issue where typing too quickly in the settings search box could result in the results not loading completely. Fixed an issue where attempted to use the move option when you press all plus pace was causing a window to resize instead of move. Fixed an issue for insiders with multiple monitors were opening a minimized window might result in the window appearing in the wrong monitor fix an issue which would cause the clock and the taskbar to stop updating fix an issue which could cause the taskbar icons to shift around the your mouse as you moved your mouse across the taskbar also fix an issue where the notify when apps request location option in settings under privacy and security location was reset after reboot and also finally they fix an issue that was causing the windows update page in settings to unexpectedly flash messages sometimes too quickly to read in this previous file and there are also a few known issues in this build that you can check out in the article below if you're interested in that so basically this is the latest build for the canary channel i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was about from tech base until next time have a nice day